So you, you saw my Jack Reacher jacket, uh, D.I. Hall, a while back. We're going to take a look at this jacket now. Try to uh, fix up some of the wear and tear, uh, replenish it. We're going to take just a few things. We're going to use a horsehair brush, a rag, and some Obanoffs to bring this jacket back to life, protect it, make it last a little longer, improve the waterproofing and uh, make it a better jacket. Should smell nice too. I love the smell of open offs. We'll get to that. So I want to show you just a little bit of the wear that I'm talking about. You can see here on the elbow, you can see some of the wear in the leather. Um, also on the back, you can see also here we've got a lot of a lot of wear in the leather, especially on this one piece. You can see one half is fine and the other half is worn, scratched, dried out. Um, we've got a lot on a lot of the seams too. We've got a lot of these dry patches. But overall the jacket itself is pretty dried out. And the open off is gonna go a long way to help restore that. I mean, you can see the discoloration, the fading, which does look cool. I mean, it makes it look weird, worn in, but it is drying out, cracking, and um, just wearing. Uh, you can see quite a bit here at the top. If this gets wet, if I was wearing this in the rain, that, that leather would just start to soak up the water and it would become a heavy, wet mess. And this, uh, putting some open offs on it, it's really going to improve the waterproofing. Open Offs is awesome because it's all natural. It's antibacterial. It'll help prevent mold and mildew building up in the leather and things that are destroying it. It'll help moisturize it also, keep it from, from wearing out. But this is an awesome jacket, well made. Should last for a long, long time if we just take care of it. Here on that pocket you can see you can see the, the wear and tear there. So to start with, we'll take the brush to it. Right, a little bit about open offs. Um, this is what I use on a lot of my leather products, especially my boots. It does great. Um, it says on it that it reinforces fibers against scuffing, yet leather still breathes, waterproofs longer and better. So there's a lot of great things about this. Um, we're gonna do at least one application and we'll see how much it needs. Um, they recommend that you use your hands, um, the heat from your body on your hands will help um, melt and help the oil penetrate into the leather. So we're going to start applying that now. I'm going to 
show you some close-up at least of the change that will happen to this when it's rubbed in makes a huge difference oh looks great already so we're gonna go to town We've now coated the jacket in Obanoffs. It's been rubbed in. I rubbed it in as best I could, trying to get as much of my body heat into it to really get it to saturate in. There were some sections like this one back here that just absorbed it like crazy. It was really dry. This will really make it last a lot longer. This jacket's great. An awesome find from the thrift store. It's really putting new life into old used items. This jacket can last a lifetime now with the care of regular uh, applications of Obanoffs or other leather treatments that keep the moisture in and keep it dry and waterproof. This jacket's going to be great. For more updates, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have a way that you have restored or replenished or, or refurbished your leather jackets, let me know in the comments. We're all looking for new ways to keep things that are old in great condition. Look how much better that is. Now, these straps, nice. 
moisturized, but the dryness that you could see here before is completely gone.